Hey folks, this is The Question Why, and today I'm going to be taking you on a quick walkthrough of the new exotic Kvastov 7G0X. Now, this is one of the first exotics you can get in Rise of Iron, and it has a lot going for it. Now this gun has five exotic perks, which is pretty crazy, and they all do some pretty interesting things. For starters, there's automatic, which turns this gun into an auto rifle, which is what it starts at. You also have burst fire, which for a slight increase in range and impact turns it into a pulse rifle. And then lastly, semi-auto, which turns it into a semi-automatic rifle or scout. And then in addition to those, we have 450 RPM, which sets the firing behavior so it's a lower rate of fire, higher impact, or 900 RPM, which dramatically increases the rate of fire but takes impact down to almost nothing. But it does increase your magazine size and your stability tremendously. Going to the last of the really unique things, we have the gun's appearance. So the vanilla gun highly resembles the original Kvastov, with the addition of a little bit more wood. But what really makes this gun shine are its two ornaments. The first ornament, Bureau of Aeronautics, looks like this. And personally, I like it, but it's just not my favorite. And then the ornament I was very, very fortunate to get from my first treasure, the last Warmind. Now, I love The Last Warmind, and I'm going to be keeping that on for the remainder of the video. So from here, I'll walk you through what all of the other perks you can pick will do. For starters, we have the scopes. We have the original classic scope, which is the old cracked Kvastov scope on the original. And apparently, it's good for range and stability. And we have the option to switch it to a non-broken red dot scope, which looks more or less identical. Now, for this, we lose a little bit of range and stability, but we get a tiny bit more zoom and target acquisition and the target acquisition is the only thing I could say might make this worth it. In the third column, we have Hammer Forged, Rifled Barrel, and Braced Frame. Fourth column, we have Extended Mag, Counterbalance, and Rangefinder. Those are all really good choices, but what you want to pick is highly dependent on what kind of gun you want to be using. Now, if you want to be using an auto rifle, pretty much kind of recommends what you want. If you pick directly across for any of these middle three columns, it'll give you a decent roll. So for the auto, you're going to end up with the classic scope, automatic, hammer forged, and extended mag. And you're probably going to want to stay at 450 RPM for just about everything you do. Now, another option you can do when going full auto that a lot of people choose is braced frame, counterbalance, and 900 RPMs. And this brings it up to a much higher rate of fire, more similar to the Doctrine archetype, but I believe a little bit slower. So I'll show you a brief comparison of these and their fire spread. So the base out of the box assault rifle, it's gonna look like this. Not the worst spread, pretty consistent, stays fairly close together, little wide, and moves mostly vertical. Like, incredibly easy to control. Now, in comparison, at the more Doctrine-esque archetype, you lose a lot of range but gain a lot of stability, and you end up with an almost completely vertical recoil. Super easy to control, and I've been melted by this in PvP more than a few times. Now, outside of the recommended rolls for if you're going to use it as an auto rifle, here's what I prefer. I like to use Hammer Forged, Counterbalance, and 450. Now, this combination gives you a slightly different recoil than the original. It's a lot more vertical. And personally, for me, the small decrease in magazine size from 32 to 26, which you can't see right now, which I will get into later, makes it so that it's just a much preferable gun for engaging foes at medium to close range. Now, if you're going to be using this gun as an auto rifle and you prefer the 450 RPM setting, here's an interesting trick. So, I'm starting out with a 26 round mag with the settings I like, but you can pop in, put on extended mag, 900 RPMs, and just reload, and you end up with a 78 round mag. And then if you go back and switch it back, you keep that 78 round mag. So, you really don't need to reload you get three clips in one, and hopefully Bungie will patch this soon, but it's just way too much power. Going into examining the gun as a pulse, I would recommend using the modernized scope, as well as using the modernized scope for the semi-auto, just for the aim assist boost it gives. Now, the what I would consider suggested is rifled barrel and counterbalance, 
which ends up as a pretty decent gun. The rate of the rate of fire is kind of low, but the spread is consistent and easy to control. And if you really want to, you can use 900 RPM for pulse mode, but I believe that makes it closer to the Grasp of Malak archetype, but personally, I don't like it because I find its damage to be incredibly lackluster. Now, if you're going to take this gun down the scout rifle path, using the recommended perks I've found is really just the way to go. It gives you a good amount of stability and a good amount of range and a solid amount of aim assist. So with this, you end up with crazy accuracy and a spread that's really not that hard to deal with, especially because it's single shot. One thing that is worth noting is it's very low damage and it's going to take you a lot of headshots to be able to bring someone down. Using this as a scout has some benefit in PvE, but as a whole I would say stick to auto. So in conclusion, the Kvostov 7GOX exotic is a really solid exotic and the fact that you get it at a flat 350 right out of the box, it's a great boost to your light level for the start of Rise of Iron. And I know everyone's going to have their own individual feelings on what kind of perks they want to be using. And I've shown you what works for me. Feel free to comment below with what works for you. Or, you know, if you're someone who makes videos yourself, make a video and let me know. This has been an overview of the Kvostov Exotic. Thank you for watching.